Hi, Bob Greenier here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Well, I have had another couple of hours, uh, about four hours, uh, looking around plate number two, and I've actually turned it over, and it's obviously been a real pleasure. I feel really, really privileged to be looking at this. So, uh, first up is an Evo. Yes, we have a uh, individual Evo here. And I don't know how I'm going to zoom in. Oh, I can just zoom in like that, maybe. Like that. Okay, so we have one Evo here. Uh, maybe take the brightness down of that. And we can actually give you a, a specific measurement on that. Our Evo is 250 microns. Now, this is a big Evo, um, as far as uh, Kenneth Shoulders would uh, consider. So, the a Marza vibration system is able to generate big Evo. So that's, uh, like I say, 250 microns. Uh, and if we come here, um, maybe we start to see a little bit of the life cycle. I don't know. Let's have a look at this puppy. So we have a long one of these kind of like two line tracks here. And I'm going to zoom right into this. And hopefully I can pan around as well. There we go. I can pan around. So what do we have? We have something that kind of appears here and it's kind of gouging a track out and it gets to here and it goes boop, up to the next quanta maybe. I don't know. We've got a round bit here and then it's kind of drawing two lines. These are very consistent width lines. You remember boring through the uh, fused quartz of the Lion reactor and it gets to here and it almost goes boop again. I don't know if I can get that exposure right. You obviously, the uh, raw files and the composites uh, will be available as a download in the, the um, uh, description of the video. So it looks like we've got three spots, maybe, I don't know. And then whatever it is here kind of goes, it's like an art brush pen going around there. Anyway, as I say, <laughs> this is all a complete joy to investigate. Um, so that's one of these two strike things. but. Is this indicating something like the life cycle? I think in my Sochi presentation, I said that the EVO's uh, or stra strange radiation seems to be eating, 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 and then, then something happens. And in this case, it looks like maybe it's gone to a different quanta. Or maybe it's coming this way and it's getting smaller. I don't know. Um, but it kind of looks like it did something here, left something behind, and then went on and started doing this. This uh, use of the polarizer on here, it, it, anything that's like Evo related pops out uh, as bright lines compared to uh, all the other scratches and detritus on there. Um, there's also something at the other end of here, but uh, you can have a look at these in your own time and start formulating your own opinions. This um, looks like one of the structures we had yesterday, but it's kind of like falling apart. So, you know... It, I think um, Matsumoto described these kind of things where whatever it was was falling apart and um, uh, this may be one of those instances and uh, this is in the non-polarized view. And Now what I'm actually getting almost all of these really good tracks is, is not on the piece, the vibration fin where the, the cavitation pits are, although some are, there's a couple in here that do, that do fit that bill. But most of the really interesting stuff is here. And that is where you have the Teflon uh, holding on to the plate. So it's like the Evos are whatever born out here and they get under here and they get kind of stuck and maybe they aggregate and then they move around under here and, and make these beautiful tracks. Whereas otherwise they would just sort of go into the fluid. When we, when we tested the indium, it was just in there for 10 minutes uh, between two plates and it got a very large number of strike marks on it. So um, the output in terms of uh, EVOs and EVO clusters is, is would appear to be extremely high um, from these fins. Anyway, so that's that one. Then what I've got for you here is one of the classic IMI uh, tracks. So you see IMI, MI, MI, MI. It's not a very long one. And then it kind of does something, changes direction and goes a kind of like squiggle down here. And then we can see our kind of like uh, hexagons here as uh, two sections and it kind of peters away. Um, so this, this is an IMI going into squiggle, going into those kind of uh, tracks. 
But this has uh, been observed by a number of different um, researchers and I've got some scales on there. The width of this is uh, 390 microns, 0 0.039 millimeters. Now, what have we got? Oh yes, this is a, a beautiful IMI track. In fact, uh, uh, this is just a segment of it. Um, it is, it's, it's not quite an IMI, it's like a, a dumbbell line, dumbbell line, dumbbell line. So it's, it's nearly an IMI track. I guess you'd class it as an IMI track. Um, and like I say, this will look better on your screen probably, overexposing on my camera here at the moment. Um, and again, I've got some metrics on that. So the width is uh, point, uh, point zero 0.048 millimeters, and uh, the <clears throat> length between periods is 0 0.167. Um, so be between re repeating pat patterns. So um, I actually have that as a full track here, and we'll go into that so you can get an idea of how big this track is. So the section we were looking at there was rotated and it's here and you can see it goes all the way up here, it kind of come, comes round. Uh, it changes into uh, two lines here. Uh, so yeah, you've got the IMI goes into two lines and it goes back into like splodges and it kind of does something it doesn't quite know, it comes up here and then comes down here, does something around here and comes back up here. I don't know whether it was born here, maybe it was born here, oops, sorry. Just, uh, <laughs> camera's gone a bit squiffy there, but um, yeah, so I don't know, but th there we go. Uh, it looks a bit like a, a fish, I guess, I don't know. Um, but it's all a bit of fun, isn't it? Now, uh, what else have we got here? Okay, so this is quite fascinating. So how I see these, you get, you get the original sort of Evos, which may actually be spherical, uh, but you see the strike marks. Um, and then they sort of bubble together and bubble together. Then you get something that's like really dense and this is rather large actually. Um, so here we can see that this is actually 0.399 of a millimeter. So nearly 0.4 of a millimeter. I mean, that would be a pencil lead. And so this is like a little glowy ball if it was actually glowing. And uh, it seems to have some substructure within it. Maybe little things floating around in it that might sparkle if you imagine it actually being alive um, but you know if you look at those tufts on um, uh, on sapphire you could imagine that if enough of these balls came together in that kind of soap bubble fashion it would get to a point where it just becomes one big surface and they would form the tufts and these same things seem to attract and repel each other and maybe that's exactly what they're doing and then they all get together and they form you know the double layers and 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 so on and so um, I don't know, maybe these are the same thing. Um, and we've got another one here. This, this one actually looks like it has, uh, you know, a ring here, then another ring inside, and then another ring inside. So it almost looks like it's got double layers. Like I say, you, you can start, you can still see a little, if I, if I go into this, of that kind of uh, geometry that it had before. But uh, it, it's not so clear. Um, and it would be nice to be able to get a, a higher resolution microscope on here. But uh, still extremely fascinating. Um, I've got some measurements on that. That's actually a smaller one. So you, you can imagine as it gets bigger and bigger and these things kind of like uh, move around on each other. And you see this is 0 0.121. And the other one uh, here is 0.399. Uh, so you can you can imagine that by this time it's it's kind of smoothing itself out um, and becoming a kind of a, the next kind of self-organized structure. Um, here it is, the same one here with uh, the polarizing off. Um, like I say, it's going to be much clearer on your screens when you look at these things. Now here's a very very basic track, your, your, your typical sort of uh, tire tread. Uh, mark uh, sort of sort of just goes on ad infinitum there and I've given you a measurement here So I've just taken a section of the track you can count the number of bits and divide it But this is uh, just over uh, a millimeter long and then um, We've got a small cluster here uh, like the ones we had yesterday So if I dial that down ooh, So you can see the uh, this kind of layer around the outside and it's, it, has it got two bubbles in there and another one here? I don't know, but it's kind of elongated this way. So it's not, it's, it's more of an ovoid. Um, and if we look here, I've got some measurements on this. 
let's zoom into that a bit. Okay, so the measurements on that uh, length. I mean, it's approximate. These are early doors in terms of uh, analysis, but uh, 0.091 of a millimeter and a point. 07. So you can imagine as the Evo gets more energy and, and it's taking in more material, maybe that it goes up to a certain scale and, and then it grabs onto other things and they get pulled in and they kind of form a self-organized structure. And then these all sort of aggregate and aggregate and aggregate and then it goes boom, and it's another quanta. Um, so anyway, uh, here's a nice uh, tank track. Uh, let's see if we can uh, zoom into this one. Uh, and this is actually was visible um, in uh, with that, without the specular um, uh, sorry the uh, polarizing uh, to to uh, full degree. Now, if I measure this, uh, we have this at uh, eight millimeters long. So yeah, it's really large. And what I've done, there's this polyline in in the microscope measure system where you can just put a couple of waypoints and, and it adds up the total length which is very useful for this kind of characterization. And so um, I actually have the full tank track here which I've rotated so it's easier for you guys to print. Um, and uh, if I go in here you can see it's got some lovely structure to it. So the, the, there's a, a spot here and we go down here, lovely, 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 and it kind of goes around here. Now, I don't know whether it's coming in from this angle. It kind of seems to be weak down here. Is it dying this way? I don't know. Um, and it's got this lovely sort of wiggly period periodicity uh, rather than just the normal sort of straight lines. I mean, this, this might be another Evo that's going cutting straight across here. Um, but if you look at the end here, and it is quite curious, but if you look at the end here, um, it looks like there's one of these 3.1s with the, with the ring around it. I don't know. Have a look, see what you think, um, and uh, but anyway, this is a real joy um, uh, doing this work, um, and uh, it's uh, I think probably <laughs> one or two of these plates, and uh, they're they're like um, micro fishes for for evos, um, at their forms, uh, their lives, and uh, what they can do. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if we can track down some of these on an SEM and see if this really is. Uh, uh, you know what I what I'm thinking is that it kind of reorganizes the nucleons and this might be uh, 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 deck alpha uh, by that I mean calcium uh, because we do see a lot of calcium in experiments uh, Parkamov you, you name it uh, um, you see a lot of uh, uh, calcium being synthesized or it could be uh, diamonds and so um, diamonds um, uh, are a uh, tri alpha. And diamonds were also, also synthesized in uh, the work of uh, Leclerc, and he found these like nano diamonds over uh, his surface. So maybe the Evos are going around, they're taking on the nucleons and just reorganizing them into something uh, that's good for life, like carbon and calcium and, and uh, just uh, blocks of alpha particles. Um, and they're really efficient packing. And so there we go. Uh, lots of lovely uh, images for you to dig in. Thank you for your time.